I'll be using a Motorola Droid 3 as the phone in this video. It's a pretty much standard Android smartphone. It's running Android 2.3. Uh, the phone is rooted in ROM. It's running Maverick version 3.0. You see it has a HDMI port there. And of course Bluetooth. And the keyboard I'm going to be using is uh, it's an Apple Bluetooth keyboard. It's a really nice keyboard. See it's all made of aluminum. Nice and thin. And then the mouse I'm going to be using is just a cheap eBay mouse, but uh, pretty much any uh, Bluetooth mouse should do. So now we got to connect our Bluetooth devices to the phone. So we're going to have to go to our settings, and uh, we're going to make sure that the Bluetooth is turned on. And uh, going to turn the keyboard on now. And you'll see that the uh, keyboard tried to connect to the phone, but with this keyboard and this phone setup, we want to actually initiate the connection from the phone. So go back to our settings. We're going to click on the Apple keyboard. And now it's asking us for the pin. Now, with this keyboard, the pin that we enter here, we're going to have to retype on the keyboard and then hit enter, and then it should properly pair up. So I type 1234, hit OK. And then I retype it on the keyboard, hit enter. Now you could use any pin combo here really. I just use one, two, three, four as an example. And you can see that it's connected to the Apple keyboard now. Now we're gonna have to do the same thing with our mouse. So we'll make sure it's on, hit our connect button. And then back on the phone we're gonna have to tell it to scan for more devices. You see the Bluetooth mouse shows up. Touch it to pair. And it's going to ask us for our pin. This one has a pin of just four zeros. Hit OK to connect. Let's go back to our settings to see if it connected. And you can see they're both connected now. Let's touch some keys on the keyboard to see if it works using the up and down arrows. And then try the mouse out. You see the cursor on the screen. Flip the home screen back and forth. To hook the phone up to the monitor, I'll be using a micro HDMI to HDMI cable, and then I use the HDMI to DVI adapter. I'm using the adapter so that way I still have the option to be able to use HDMI if I want. To hook it up, you simply plug in the micro HDMI right into the phone, and it comes right up on the monitor. Using a mouse on Android is a little different. Where you would normally just swipe your finger, you now have to click and drag to move around. It takes some getting used to. Here you see my notepad app. Test the keyboard out a little bit, try some text. The keyboard actually has a really nice response and feel to it. Texting with it is amazing. Take a look at some websites. Here you see, looking at my website, it's a little different with the, the dragging, like I said. It takes some getting used to. It does get easier to use the keyboard and mouse the more you get used to it. And it makes the phone more useful, too. Let's see if we can find some flash video. Now, flash playback on the big screen over the HDMI is pretty much exactly as it would be on the phone because they're both showing the same resolution. Try this out.
Let's see if we can make this go full screen. And if you just right click, it's the exact same thing as the back button. This is my news client here. This is a really cool app here, the uh, 2x client. It's a remote desktop app, and I uh, connect to my Windows 7 desktop. And here you see uh, it's a full Windows 7 desktop. Firefox. So you could basically do anything you would do on a normal Windows station like this. It's exactly the same as remote desktop. It's much easier to use than compared to using your finger on that. And then some of the games work really well with a mouse too. Well, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it and found another useful way to use your Android. Leave me some comments and let, let me know what you thought of the video. Thanks.